Hi y'all, it is New Year's Eve and you are on my floor. I am a get ready on the floor kind of gal, so that's what we're doing right now. I did also try to curl my hair and now it looks like really silly. And also, we need to leave very soon. And also, I don't know what I'm wearing and I really need to hurry up. So I'm not a very good planner, especially like with holidays and stuff. And New Year's Eve has been no exception. I didn't really have any plans today. And then Alex ended up having plans with his friends. And I was just going to sit on my couch and like watch a movie and like go to bed early. Like that sounded very sexy to me. But I work at this like nice French restaurant once a week. And they ended up having a cancellation, like a single cancellation at their bar for their dinner reservation tonight. And I took it because my friends are all working there tonight. And I wasn't doing anything. I didn't have any plans. So I'm going to be doing that. The reservation is at 9 p.m. and it's gonna be like a seven course dinner all up until like midnight. There is two courses I can't eat personally because I don't eat meat. Um, what is it? Oh yeah, I can't have this foie gras dish and then I can't have a venison dish, but I can have five out of the seven courses. I'll just like give those courses away. I don't really care. Why does my hair look so silly? This looks so silly. I do not know how to do hair. <laughs> oh my gosh I feel like I'm just gonna keep curling it and making it worse and honestly we don't really have that much time okay I, I, should, I should just stop I feel like it's like so puffy now and I don't know I just think it looks like a little silly maybe if I like put it half back oh what time is it oh god okay we gotta get going <laughs> okay I need to run out the door this is my dress this is Nikki's thank you Nikki but I put this cute little bow in my hair y'all um happy new year's we did it we've made it yeehaw new year's eve i kind of just did a lot of like deep cleaning stuff around the house and i also took down the christmas tree earlier because to be honest it was getting so messy and i don't really think i'm going to be doing real christmas trees anymore especially now with the girls because they're getting like a little too interested in it and i was really scared that they would like eat the christmas tree droppings 
and I was always like so anxious like trying to like clean up everything before they would like mess with it and it just yeah anyways I just wanted a gun I just wanted the house to be like reset I guess for the new years I still have quite a few projects that I still have to do and I'm gonna do some of them today uh, including cleaning the studio because oh my goodness y'all the studio is so messy and bad and I've turned my Etsy shop on vacation mode because one, there's not that much stuff on there right now anyways. And two, I just like want to get the studio back to like a, a usable place before I can like, I want to start creating again. Um, so yeah, that's one of the projects. And then I also have some like stuff outside, like some cleaning up outside stuff that I want to do as well. But that's what I did on New Year's Eve. And then New Year's Eve night, y'all saw I, I went to that like dinner and this stuff. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of fun. But... I genuinely, <laughs> I could not keep up with, so every like pairing for the food, there was like seven courses, there was a drink that came with the course, and then also it was like, when you know the bartenders, and they're like, okay, have a little of this, have a, and, then, and then it turned out to be, oh goodness, I was feeling not too fresh, but I did have fun. It was so cute, because Alex, he tried to rush to the restaurant and get there right before midnight so that we could like kiss, but well, I think he was about five minutes late, but that's okay. Still was there to give me a kiss and pick me up and took me home. Today is January 2nd. January 1st, I was a little goblin creature and I did not talk to anyone. I did not, I was not perceived. I was, I was in my little cocoon. I was in my bed. I made Alex take her old TV and like put it in the bedroom so I could like lay in bed all day. And then I made him go get me pad thai and 12 pack of Diet Dr. Peppers. I was living my dream life. It was fabulous. And then now it is January 2nd and we are back to reality. I am feeling so content and happy right now, which I have found in my 26 years of living thus far that that is not a very common feeling. And so I am very grateful that I am feeling that feeling right now. And I'm just trying to soak it all in, you know? I don't, I don't know. 2023 was such a hard year like extremely hard year and I feel like everybody says that so then it's like okay well maybe we're all just I know we're all just having a hard time it was a lot of just like picking myself up over and over again and a lot of really sad stuff and a lot of loss and a lot of hardship but I genuinely feel like right now like I am okay and that's really weird and nice and I'm actually genuinely very excited for this year like, I'm going into it like, wow, like, this year might, I might actually be okay this year for, like, the first time in my whole life. Like, I might actually be okay. And that's so weird. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't even know what to do with that feeling because I, I have never felt this feeling before. And if you were sitting here watching this, then like that is just so much love and support that I like feel so deeply and, and I appreciate it and I'm so grateful and I, I don't know, I don't really feel like I have the right words for it, but I just, I'm so thankful that you were here. Freya just woke up from a nap. Freya! Should we bother her? Do you want a million kisses? Here, I'll give you a million kisses. I'm so thankful that you're here too. I'm so thankful that you're here. We get to be in the new year together. Yeah, that's really nice, isn't it? Yeah, that is nice. Please do not judge me for what you're about to see, okay? <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's gotten bad. Okay, so here's the dilemma. There's so many rainbows. Um, okay, well I guess it's not that bad. Oh, well it's kind of bad. It's like a pretty mess. Oh, and we got a stink. It's, yeah, so the studio has gotten a little out of control. Maybe in like a pretty way, because there's plants. But, nonetheless, it is a mess. Oh, I love all the prisms. Look. I love that. Okay, we're distracted. Okay, back to the issue at hand.
You like the rainbows? So the plan is to make this a workable space again and to make it nice and decluttered. I have these beautiful wall sconces that are stuck together. Like look at how amazing and fairy tale and magical they are. I just haven't found a place to put them. I don't know. We'll see. That's definitely like an Alex project, but it would be nice to get them off the floor. The cool thing about my life is that sometimes you will just open drawers and it's just moss. Just moss. Bye! Do you guys remember when I got that wedding dress in the mail that didn't fit? Well, I still have it. Uh, I wasn't getting married. It was a UGC content for this brand. And they sent me a size that wasn't even what I said. But it's a beautiful dress, but it doesn't fit me. And then they ghosted me. They were like, we'll send you another dress. And then they didn't send me another dress. And then now I just have a dress that doesn't fit me. <laughs> Look how pretty it is. I feel like this is the perfect like eloping dress. I love it. It's so freaking pretty. But yeah, I don't know what to do because <laughs> they just never sent the dress and then never responded back. And I sent like three follow-up emails and I was like, hey, what do you guys want me to do? And then just never got back to me. So, but I think I'm just going to take this out of the studio and put this like in a closet somewhere. Basically, I'm just going to create clutter somewhere else.
I finished cleaning the studio last night. It's definitely not perfect, but it is so much better than what it was. And most importantly, I can walk on the floors. <laughs> you can walk in here, what a concept. But I think it looks so much better. I've been really feeling like getting back into like creating physical things again. So I'm hoping now that the space is like better because I'm very much so someone that like I can't really think straight unless I have like a clear space. So I'm hoping this does the trick. Oh, also we put up the wall sconces last night and look at how freaking cute these are. I got them off Facebook Marketplace like six months ago and I'm finally putting them up. Finally just put them up last night. So yeah. I also added this like little magazine area because, okay, this is like one of my favorite magazines. I definitely recommend these. You can get these from like Michael's or, what is it called? Joann's and stuff. They are kind of expensive. I think they're like $20 or $15. Uh, but I think they're so like inspiring. I just love like people's spaces. And I don't know, I just think it's really cool and inspiring. And I love looking through them. Definitely recommend. I should I should go get another one. You can also get a uh, subscription too. Maybe I should get a subscription. Anyways, those are good. Those are good. So here's my sewing machine that I have never used and that I really should use. And it's on my New Year's resolution that I start using this. So yeah. Oh my gosh. Me and my friends do collages and. These are some of the ones I've made. I like this one the most, I think. 